So focus and attention and also meaning, and we are so conditioned to find meaning in our emotional energy. We are trained by psychology and psychotherapy, and this is not a slam on psychology and psychotherapy because they absolutely have their place. I'm not saying they're bad or wrong. I'm just saying that we are taught to go on a hunt for why am I feeling this way? What's wrong with me? That's one of the big questions we always ask when we are feeling low in on our emotional energy. What's wrong with me? And the minute we start asking those questions, we're starting to place our attention on this low end of this energy wave. And as soon as we do that, we begin to drop the quality of the wave, drop the freak baseline frequency of the wave, and we get stuck in emotional energy that doesn't allow us to come back out and live out that high expression, that outer expression of that creative self. This is what happens to emotionally defined people. And consequently, it also ends up impacting the emotionally open people around you as well. We're asking the wrong questions. On top of that, we have a vocabulary problem with emotions. We tend to say, I am sad, I am happy, I am joyful, I am angry. We use the phrase I am with our emotions and we begin to identify with it. And again, the minute we identify with it, we're putting attention on it and we drop it and fix it in our reality. You are not your emotions. There's no identity there. This is a flow of energy. You aren't being your emotions. Beingness actually happens in a totally different part of the chart. Who you be is stable and steady and steadfast. Beingness doesn't have that vacillating, undulating energy in it. The solar plexus, the emotional energy does, but your beingness doesn't. You can be, you can, you cannot be your emotional energy. You are experiencing or feeling your emotional energy. The analogy I always use with my students is think of a screen door. Okay. If you are a screen door and the wind is blowing through you, and you say, let's say the screen door has consciousness, you're the screen door and you say, I am the wind, you are completely mistaken because the screen door is not the wind. The screen door is the screen door. The wind is the experience of energy moving through the screen door. It's very important for us to stay healthy emotionally, to not identify with our emotional energy, and to not fixate or pay attention or ask the wrong set of questions around the nature of the wave-like quality of our emotional energy.